Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lash Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, how the mother leaf tends to look uh, when it is dried and when it is rotted. Basically, how to differentiate between uh, a rotted mother leaf and a naturally dried mother leaf. Now, over here, uh, these are some of my uh, Graptovaria purple delight. Uh, now, you can see the one in the middle. Take it out. It's completely dried because the uh, pup has already reached to a good size. I wouldn't say a good size, but uh, over here uh, the uh, life cycle of the mother leaf is already done. Uh, the pup had already taken all of the nutrients and water from the mother leaf due to which the mother leaf naturally dried out. Uh, and this is how you can differentiate it just by the look of it. Uh, you can see with one. So with just one look, you can uh, realize that the leaf is dried out naturally and it is not rotted. Apart from that, the leaf is going to be very crispy. You can see this the moment I'm going to crush it. It's going to turn into powder. The reason is because all the nutrients and all the water has been absorbed by the pup and so the leaf has naturally dried out so this is how a natural process of uh, the propagation works over the period of time the mother leaf will get dried up like this now when this happens there is nothing to be worried because the mother leaf will detach from the pup automatically over here as you can see it was already detached so with the slightest touch i was able to remove the mother leaf from the pup but when you have a case like this now these are rotted leaves the reason is because you can see they are not very crisp uh, now these did not put out pups because before they could put out pups the mother leaf rotted off so you can see the leaves are not very crisp but they still have a lot of water in them as you can see there is still a lot of water because these have rotted uh, they have not naturally dried out that is the reason why there is water in them because they have absorbed water now this was because it rained and the water fell on them and hence they got rotted so you can see they are not crisp but they're soft and they're soggy which indicates that they have rotted so when you tend to see the pup is still attached on a leaf like this you have to immediately of uh, the moment when you take a first look you will be able to realize whether the leaf is dried or if there is water and it's turning darker in color you have to immediately take the pup out of the mother leaf now i cannot guarantee that the pup will survive because uh, nothing much can be done because if you're going to leave the pup on the mother leaf the pup will die any which ways so might as well separate it uh, probably it is a 50 50 chance the pup might survive might not survive depends upon the environment and the care uh, but if it's going to be connected to the rotting mother leaf, uh, the rot will get transferred on to the pup. So you have to separate the pup. But again, I cannot guarantee that it is going to work out really well because uh, the mother leaf has already rotted and uh, the pup is left on its own. So it's going to be a very tricky situation, but the only best option is to separate the pup from the mother plant. So whenever your mother leaf is rotting, uh, the first option is to separate the pup whether it has roots or it does not have roots you have to go ahead and separate it from the uh, rotting mother leaf otherwise the rot will get transferred onto the pup so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating